This is the Mercedes-Benz C43 AMG 4MATIC Cabriolet. And on the day of our shoot, the weather started out as being perfect for a convertible. But this being Cape Town, Hello and welcome to Cape Town, which is in the middle of the worst drought in its history. So we thought it would be safe to shoot a convertible and we were wrong. So today instead we're going to find out what it's like to drive a convertible when you can't drop the roof. This is the issue that I have with convertibles. They're actually not great in summer. They work better in winter. And to make this car more drivable and more bearable in cold weather, Mercedes have thrown in a couple of nice little extras. You get heated seats, which you can control in three stages from a little button on the door. And then behind my head here is an air scarf. Now, you know when you go to the loo and there's a hand dryer? It's kind of like that, except it's wrapped in leather and it's mounted just behind my neck. And it blows a gentle stream of hot air onto the back of my neck. It's lovely. To give this car its full name, it's actually the C43 Cabriolet 4MATIC, which means it has all-wheel drive. You can't actually order this car in cabriolet form without the formatic system. So if you had dreams of doing donuts in parking lots with the roof down, it's not going to happen. When you put a folding roof on a car, it needs somewhere to fold into, and that place is the boot. And sure, when the boot is full of roof, you do lose quite a bit of space. But with the roof up, it's actually pretty decent. I mean, look how deep it is. Probably one of the better boots I've seen on a convertible. And you can order this flat pack crate. Eh? Look at that. And it only costs 182 Rand, which must make it one of the cheapest extras on a Mercedes-Benz in history. So, you know, get two, splash out. This is a million Rand car. 50,000 Rand more than a million, actually. And when you're paying that sort of money, you want your car to be the epitome of quiet, comfort. You want it to exude luxury. And for me, this convertible C-Class just doesn't. So by taking the roof away, they've weakened the car and it kind of squeaks and groans a bit, way more than you'd want in a million rand car. Especially that passenger door, it just doesn't stop squeaking. On the drive out here, it nearly drove me crazy. We're about 50 k's outside of Cape Town and on all but the best surface roads, the door just didn't stop. And there are other compromises that you need to make too if you really want the convertible. The back seats are pretty cramped. They're not gonna be great for adults on any sort of journey. And then of course, there's the way that the roof eats into the boot space. So for the C43, Mercedes-Benz have thrown in a 3-litre V6 by turbo, 270 kilowatts, 520 newton meters of torque, 0 to 100 in 4.8 seconds. But all of those numbers don't tell you how nice this engine sounds. Flick it into Sport Plus mode, drop a gear. Oh, that is a nice noise. It's not that angry V8 growl you get, but 
It's kind of this muted howl. It's no less enjoyable. It really, really adds to the character of this car. I love it. And on startup, you get that nice little burble as well. They've done a fantastic job with that. But let's go back into comfort because there's something I need to discuss and that is the suspension. Yeah, this car is not very comfortable. Even with the adjustable dampers, which you can put into comfort or sport mode, in the most comfortable setting, it's still not a great ride. It's not as good as the Audi S5 that we recently drove. It's just a bit too firm. It doesn't have that sort of plush and comfortable and smooth feeling that you'd expect from a million rand Mercedes-Benz. So is the C43 Cabriolet worth it? I'm not too sure. It's about 200,000 Rand more than the equivalent coupe. That's quite a lot of money to spend just to take the roof off and give you a convertible soft top. And it's just a bit too compromised for me. It loses out on boot space, it loses out on rear seat space, it's a little bit noisier, it doesn't have the same chassis rigidity either. So unless you really, really need a cabriolet, if your heart absolutely desires a convertible, then sure, get the cabriolet. But for everyone else, I think the coupe will do just fine. And then for a precious few minutes, the rain stopped and I could drop the roof. The engine sounded better, the car looked better and of course I really enjoyed having the wind in what's left of my hair. I started to wonder whether that extra 200,000 Rand might be worth it. Mm, nah. <laughs> <laughs>